which of these plots is the direction field of a logistic differential equation? Well, for a logistic differential equation, so you know that it, it should look like this. Um, maybe I, I, I'm going to schematically try to, to show what it should look like for a logistic differential equation. So there should be two equilibrium solutions, one corresponding to the zero level, another one corresponding to current capacity. So between zero and current capacity, um, we have increasing solutions. So vectors point kind of upward, above current capacity vectors point downward and below zero vectors point downward. But we see that um, we don't really have anything like that here. So which means that the answer here is none of them. So B, which differential equations are linear homogeneous? And we know that there are two of them. So we're given that there are two of them. Okay, so a linear homogeneous equation is an equation that, that looks like this, y prime um, plus p of t y is zero. So a generic linear equation would have uh, some function of t in the right-hand side, but if it's homogeneous, then the right-hand side is zero. Well, um, what it tells us that um, it tells us two things. So first is that um, y equals zero is a solution. And the second thing is that if y is a solution, then uh, all constant multiples of y are also solutions, like 2y minus 1.5y, y over 100, and so on. So they, these are all, all are going to be solutions. So um, for a linear homogeneous differential equation, all solutions are sort of proportional to each other. Now, let us first um, see which of these differential equations um, have the constant zero as a solution. One, two, three. So it is A, B, and C. And so which means that the, the, the rest of them, D, E, and F, are definitely not um, a linear homogeneous. So now out of these three, so which two have the property that all solutions are proportional to each other? Well, I mean, you, you can imagine that, uh, so here, all solutions are kind of, they, they look alike. So they are indeed proportional to each other. So for C, same thing for C. So you have the, this kind of proportionality, but not for B, because for B, some solutions, so all solutions are increasing instead. So which means that the answer is A and C. Now, which differential equations are autonomous? So autonomous means that uh, the direction field is invariant on the horizontal translation. So if you look at all these vectors, they're same. All these vectors are same. All these vectors are same. So if you fix the value of y and look at all vectors for different values of t, but fixed value of y, then all these vectors should, should point in the same direction. So and B satisfies the, this property and so does D. If you check D, then you have the same property that if you fix the value of, um, of y and look at vectors corresponding to the fixed value of y but different values of t, then they're all the same. So which means that B and D are um, autonomous differential equations. So B and D. So the, the, the other four do not have this property. Next question. What is the stable equilibrium that one of the two autonomous differential equations has? So let us look at all equilibrium solutions. So it's for B is um, y equals zero. For D we have uh, y equals two and y equals negative one. 
right? So here we have y equals zero. Now a stable equilibrium should look like this. So we have horizontal arrows, arrows from above point downward and arrows from below point upward. This is a stable equilibrium. So in B, y equals zero is not like this. In A, y equals two is not like this, but uh, y equals negative one is like that, right? So which, which is why the answer here is y equals negative one. So the stable equilibrium, um, so these uh, two Autonomous differential equations together, they have um, three equilibrium solutions. One of them is stable, one is unstable, and one is semi-stable. So the stable one is y equals negative one. And finally, which differential equations are separable? So first recall that A and C are... Um, a linear homogeneous and the linear homogeneous is separable so y prime equals p of t y is a separable form then b and d are um, autonomous so they the kind of the general form is y prime equals f of y this is also separable so now, now let, let, let me explain why um, E and F are not, are not separable. So recall that for a separable differential equation, the set of zeros of the right-hand side must be the union of vertical lines and horizontal lines. But now if you look at the set of zeros of the right-hand side uh, for E, then it kind of has this, this strange curve. It's definitely not the union of uh, vertical lines and horizontal lines. And the set of zeros of the right-hand side of F is the two slant lines. So in either case, this is not, cannot be separable and this cannot be separable. So we know that E and F are definitely not separable because the set of zeros of the right-hand side has the wrong, wrong form, the wrong geometry. And A, A, B, C, and D are separable, separable because two of them are autonomous and two of them are uh, linear homogeneous and both forms are separable. 